about to drive the car. Will is recording. He did an amazing job. I just want to tell you. What's up, what's up everybody, Simon here. In this episode, we are gonna go ahead and discuss the BMW M track day that I recently have had. Amazing experience. It costs about $1,000 for the full event. What's up, what's up guys? I'm at the BMW M track days. You can see here behind me, we got a safety car. And then over here, we got a bunch of BMWs. So this is an event where I get to go ahead and race a bunch of BMWs that are M series cars at the Sonoma Raceway. Sonoma Raceway track is right there. People are pulling up right now and we're gonna be racing a lot of these BMW M cars, which is really cool. So I'm excited. I'm gonna see how this all goes at the BMW M track days. My first experience, I've been wanting to do it for years. But overall, I think it's gonna be fun. You get to do a zero to 60. It's a full day event from eight to 10. And it's also, actually, sorry, it's a full day event from eight to 5.30. And you also get to see what kind of cars they have here. So check this out. Here we're walking and we get to see some of the M cars right there. Look at that guy doing some spin outs. Check it out. get to learn how to do that stuff right there. Pretty cool. They're all M240Is here. I wonder if they're gonna be um, some M3s or M4s and M5s. This looks like a fun course. <laughs> we got to drive an M3 comp, an M4 comp, we drove an M5 competition. I got to ride with one of the best drivers, a factory driver from BMW. His name is Connor D. Felipe. We took a picture together by the BMW he took me around on and the whole experience was amazing, okay? So first I have, I'm showing you here photos of me driving up the BMW M Experience M Track Day happened at the Sonoma Raceway. This is a huge raceway that's local here near the Napa Valley area. And living in California, we're blessed to have several raceways around us, Sonoma being one of the more popular ones. Then I got to take a picture with the BMW safety car with the M uh, thrills in the background. And I was excited because this is their 50 year anniversary of doing this. They gave us a band that you could see here as well and then a obviously a tag so that they verify who you are. Now to book a BMW M performance track day, you really need to book it in advance and as soon as you get that email, they change locations all the time. You really have to sign up right away. In fact, when my friend wanted to sign up, it was already sold out. So this was kind of the experience. Now before I get into this video, and give you my whole rundown, show you how I raced these BMWs, how uh, I was partaking in an actual racer taking me around the track like a professional race car driver and what it felt like. I remind you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So let's get into this BMW M Performance Track Day where I was smiling pretty much the whole time while other people got sick from motion sickness and did not feel so well. So let's get into it. All right, 
so we waited around for the track day to begin. The event started at eight o'clock, but what we actually started with was some coffee and some pastries, which was really nice. Now I made my own coffee and the drive was about an hour or so away from San Francisco area. I did get there. I registered. I waited for the tutorial. The tutorial was about uh, half an hour to about an hour and you got to meet all of the instructors and there were many people that fly out for this event. So more and more people are getting here. It's a Ferrari that just pulled up. Not many people have BMWs, which is pretty interesting. And that's where you check in. Then there's a little class that they do here. Let's go in here. So there's a check-in line. You got some refreshments. And they'll do a class here. All in all, we've had a total of, I would say there's probably about 80 or so M cars, maybe even 100 M cars at this event that they designate just for you to race, put rock chips on the paint, etc. So it was wild. Okay, so we're heading to where they do all the racing or the acceleration zone or the zero to 60. Check this out. How cool is that? Look at all these M cars. Check these cars out. Competition. I used to have an M3. It's one of the coolest cars to, to drive. I can't wait. These look like they have the M performance exhaust too. This M5 is a beast. And look at all those beamers. So I'm here with the BMW M track days. I got the Sonoma Raceway stands right behind me. We're gonna go ahead and test these M5 soon as well. And these are pretty much where you get to pick the cars. I think it's gonna be the M3s, the M5s, any M rated car, maybe um, even two serious cars, which is pretty cool. Overall, I don't know how this process is gonna go, but I feel like it's gonna be, you're gonna jump in from different tracks full day event i'm super excited it's a bit chilly out here even though it looks um, warm it's about 45 i know that's not really that cold but um, the sun is deceiving today so it's a normal raceway my first time at the track we'll see how it goes i already checked in i got my badge so 50 years i guess they've been doing this which is pretty cool so the first thing that they do is the person that's responsible for the event or one of the managers or the person that kind of just goes over everything he was showing us and he's a race car driver he was showing us kind of the safety aspects of it when you need to turn so we're going to kind of skip through that part but they talked about safety position of how you should be in your seat how to take a corner and hit the apex properly and break and they're kind of preparing you for this whole experience okay so overall they wanted to make sure that you have control when you go into the bmw m of track event you have you're following like a pace car and this guy's pushing it some of the drivers were better than others they were letting you really rev it but it was such a great experience and it was so much fun i personally liked following the instructor versus being the second car behind the driver you would do two laps around and then you would also go ahead and switch so you could be first behind the driver and that's when i would really push it and it was so exciting i also got to sit as a passenger in uh, another individual driving his name was will he was a very nice guy he filmed me while driving as well and you could see some of that here and we're going to go ahead and play the whole driving experience here yep. and where are you from um san jose san jose sweet so i'm here with will man will what's up you're excited and, yeah he's my uh partner in crime we're on the track we're about to follow this is gonna be cool this is a m3 
three carbon fiber seats. Looks nice. Man, I get to record you and then I'll send you it if you want yeah, later. Nice. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, we can hear it now. These seats are awesome, dude. Uh, we got the oh, like buckets. Yeah, yeah. Not the comfort one. I would probably turn it down a little because we're, you're about to sweat. Have you done this before? Uh, not yeah, Sonoma. Not, not the BMW. I just went to track days on my okay. car. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you've, you've, you're familiar with stuff like this. Yeah, the only one I've raced has been um all right here we go i'm gonna be a passenger and we're gonna get okay, to ride around maybe get to oh. there's cars behind us what an experience Back on, baby, and I think he's gonna blast it. The 
passenger got out that was in the orange car. I think we lost a couple cars. All right, so when the first event that we did was the M3 competition. Uh, Will drove first. I was his passenger filming it. It was exciting. And then we switched, and I got to drive the M3 competition. Now, I've had an M3 competition or an M3 model in the past. It was very decked out. I'm showing a picture of that here. So I was no stranger to driving an M3 car, and it was super exciting. I got to whip it around corners. You could see in this video and clips that it was just fun. Guys, I'm about to drive the car. Will is recording. He did an amazing job. I just met him today. He's from the Bay Area. This is pretty cool. I mean, it looks great. I had to get seated like they said in the instructions. I'm excited. We're gonna be the second car in and then we're gonna uh, merge out. So let's see what happens. Huh, Will? What do you think? Man? Oh, it looks great. Look at this gorgeous like carbon fiber seats here. Look at the back. Dude, and just, it feels so snug, right? Yeah. When you were driving, you felt... You oh, yeah. Like, you didn't feel like you were slipping out. Yeah. And look at this, like, detail. Yep. Like, amazing. M stripes. Even the stripes and Woo! stitching, huh? Yeah. It's All amazing. Right. All right, looks like we're on a train of cars. We're about to... Ready to go. Yeah, we have a group it up front. And, um... Uh, yeah, that's good. Nice, right there. Yeah, that's all amazing. Right, Mike. Let's do that. Right. Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, See, boom. Okay. Got that. All right. Oh, Ooh, yeah, I know. That's nice. Yeah, we got it. So excited. That first lap is slow. So you get you in the frame with all the buildings <laughs> and all the... The happy face. Yeah, the happy face. All right. First turn.
of the day. I know. We're, we're going to get through this, man. I got a good teammate on this side. Thank you, Will. You're the best, man. No problem. No problem. Hey, this is very, very interesting. I feel that. I feel that. The second event we did was the rally event and I actually won that event with the fastest time I believe out of 10 or so people and it was fun. We got to drive an M240i so it's not an M2. Uh, however, it was still pretty fast. I felt like the DSC would cut off the power a lot in these turns so you couldn't really push it to the limits but I got the fastest lap time. So I won and because of that, give me a like and comment below if you think this type of content is cool. All right, after the M rally car event, we got to go ahead and drive the M4 competition cars. Now, the second time I was not a passenger and did not want to sit in a car. I just wanted to get some fresh air. For whatever reason, being a passenger in these cars at a racetrack gives you motion sickness and one individual actually got sick from the beginning and was sick the whole day. So he was miserable with this experience. I felt so bad. You could see that here. So this individual actually finally threw up during the spin outs. So it was kind of a, a negative experience. And because of that, a lot of people stopped being passengers in cars. They were also getting motion sick. After the event of the M4 competitions, we got to go and drag race several different cars from a X5M to an M8 convertible and not convertible. That was a fun event and... All right, so this is the motocross. We get to go around and they time you and the winner, or the fastest car wins. You get four laps and two trial laps. This one's gonna be turns after turns. Uh, I'm gonna sit this one out and record it, so. We'll see how it goes right now. We're just doing a trial. 
And that was a fun event. However, it wasn't an actual drag race on a drag racing track because they needed part of the track for the Sonoma Raceway for the other M cars to go around. So then we went to the next event, which is doing spin outs and kind of drifting. So that was fun and that was done in M5 cars. I kind of look at autocrosses, they're, they're a little bit different, right? In the sense that the obvious is And I personally got a chance while waiting to ride with Connor, the BMW M factory race car driver. And that was unbelievable. This guy pushed it to the limits. I mean, I haven't sweated the whole time while driving these M cars or while Will drove or while I drove. But when Connor drove the car, I was sweating. He was pushing the car to the limits. We were going so close to the walls. He was taking these corners, braking so suddenly that the G-forces were so intense that I could not hold the camera up. And you could see that in the video here that it was just a thrilling event. So it was so much fun that I asked Connor to drive me again and this time I sat in the back of the car and he took us around and I filmed that whole experience from the back perspective and that was intense as well. Again, I sweat it. Too late. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Uh, is that a safe? Yeah. <laughs> you no, said something finally. Okay, you were yeah, so, yeah, hey, you were so quiet. quiet. Yeah, both It's way better than driving it yourself. <laughs> so overall, it was a really fun experience. Finally, it was capped off with the BMW M5 competition where we got to take it around the track and that was pretty cool because the bmw m5 weighed a lot more than the m3 and the m4 so there was a little bit of drifting and it was actually a really fun drive as well being that it's an executive car i did own an m5 in the past i have owned an m3 and i love the m5 and i think an m5 is a beast of a car it is a four-wheel drive car where you could turn off the uh, the two wheels to make it drift a little bit. However, we had four-wheel drive on and DSC was on the whole time. Now, if you don't know what DSC is, it's basically a uh, control so that you don't spin out. It'll cut the power to different wheels to make sure that you're not spinning out or it'll correct your drift. It's a safety thing. And nowadays, it's so advanced that it was good that they had it on. Otherwise, a lot of people would have crashed. Now, there was one instructor that we were following so close and we were really pushing the limits after the first instructor he got a little mad or upset told us to cut off the power it was a little weird i didn't like it and that was with the m4 overall the experience was awesome i look forward to future experiences or even going with someone that i want to go with to be a co-pilot etc but I definitely enjoyed it. I may try out the Porsche event or any other event. And being so close that I'm to the Sonoma racetrack, I may take my motorcycles out there and race the D Ducati Panigale or even race the BMW HP4, which I have as well, and really try that out because it was just such a fun day. It was a full day event. I was tired the next day, but I had a blast. Overall, if BMW is in your area, Check out the BMW M Performance Days. They are so fun. You'll get to really learn how to drive and race. And it's worth the money because it's a full day event. I've personally raced like a Lamborghini around the racetrack in the past at in Las Vegas. And it was great, but you only got four laps for about $550. For $1,000, this was a full day event. It was longer than 20 minutes at than you would get in Las Vegas at those racetracks. And it was just a blast. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had such a great time putting the pedal to the metal. I took first in my group, not first out of everybody, which is about 200 or so people. I was off by about a second and it was just fun. So I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you love BMW cars, racing or anything like that. Give me a like for this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you here in the next one.